Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 React tutorial. In this tutorial series, we will learn about how can we use React with Laravel 9. Today, we will see how can we install the React in Laravel 9 project. So first of all, let's create a new Laravel project. So go to the stdocs directory and here, let's open the command prompt. So type here cmd, hit enter and now for creating the new Laravel project, just run the composer command, composer a space create dash project a space Laravel slash Laravel a space project name. Uh, let's say project name is Laravel 9 React. Okay, now hit enter. Alright, Laravel project has been created. Now go inside the project directory. So run the command cd and project directory name which is Laravel 9 React. Okay, now hit enter. Here we will install the React using the Laravel bridge package. So before installing the React, let's install the bridge package. Okay, so for installing the bridge package, run the composer command composer a space require a space laravel slash bridge. Okay, dash dash dev. Now we enter. Okay, now let's install the React. So run the command php artisan bridge colon install react okay now hit enter Alright, now let's install the npm packages. So run the command npm. First of all, clear the screen, then run the command npm install. Okay, hit enter. Alright, package has been installed. Now uh, run the react. So execute the command npm run dev. Okay, project is running. Now let's run the Laravel project. So go to the project directory. Uh, select the project, this one. Okay, and uh, here let's open the command prompt. So right here, cmd. And now we're running the Laravel project. Run the command php artisan serve. Okay, now it's running on localhost 8000 port. Okay, so go to the browser and let's open the URL localhost 8000. Okay, now hit enter. And you can see here the Laravel project. All right, now let's open the project uh, to the Visual Studio code. So Go to the Visual Studio Code and click on Open Folder. Now select the project. So go inside the C directory, C drive, and then Zam, stdocs, and select the project Laravel 9 React. Okay, select. Here is the project. Inside the Resources directory, JS, and pages okay inside this pages uh, folder 
we will create all react component okay inside this pages directory so let's create our first react component so here i'm just going to create a new folder uh, let's say folder name is posts all right and inside this posts, uh, posts directory uh, let's create a new file uh, let's say file name is a post component okay and file extension should be dot jsx all right and inside this file uh, let's create here a functional component so first of all just import here the re react so right here import import react from react all right then export default function and then give it the function name post component component okay and inside this function let's return inside the div I'm to I'm just going to write here a message inside the h1 tag post component okay now save this file now let's create a route for this post component so for creating the route just go inside the routes directory then web.php file and here let's create a route for this uh, post component so uh, after this just write here route colon colon get add the uri forward slash post and now add here the callback function okay so write here function and inside this function just return and inside the return just write here inertia colon colon render and inside this render just pass here the path of this post component functional component file okay functional component file so just write here uh, directory name which is post so write here post slash component name which is this one post component post component okay and now add your semicolon also add your semicolon and also import here the inertia like this okay now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and go to the url slash posts and you can see here the post component okay so in this way you can install the react on laravel 9 project so that's all about installation of react in laravel 9 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching